Hi, 464 folks. There have been some questions that have come to me in recent days about team member responsibilities. And so what I wanna do is use this short little video to kind of walk you through stuff and um, clarify a little bit. And maybe this will help you move forward for the remainder of the term, knowing more about team member responsibilities. As you know, the teams are divided up into five roles. So I'm gonna talk about each one of those roles and, and how they relate to each other. So let's start with the client services coordinator first. The client services coordinator, as I said, when I set the teams up, the, the CSC is kind of like the mother hen. Um, it, the client services coordinator helps keep everybody together. The client services coordinator is usually the point of contact with the client. The client services coordinator should be the one making sure that there's good communication among all members of the team and that the project is moving forward according to the schedule you have laid out. Who lays out the schedule? The campaign schedule manager. So there needs to be strong communication there between those two people. But anyway, the client services coordinator is the one who makes sure everything is moving forward. And you know, I recommend that you have a meeting once a week, either in person or via Zoom. The client services coordinator should be the person making sure that meeting happens, scheduling that meeting, taking notes at that meeting, making sure that that meeting is productive. When I let you guys out of class early, don't just blow and leave. Um, you know, you should really take that time to have a team meeting. I mean, you shouldn't have anything else on your schedule during the class period. And so if I'm done, you should use that time to meet. And the client services coordinator should be the person bringing that about. So those are the primary roles of the client services coordinator. If somebody else has dropped the ball on something, the client services coordinator needs to step in and pick it up. At the end, when the final presentation is put together and the final report is readied, the client services coordinator and the campaign book manager are the two people who should do the final proofread and review of those important documents. So in the end, the client services coordinator also has that responsibility. Let's talk about the strategy and research planner. All, all elements of the campaign have to be strategically planned. They have to be supported by research. I don't expect the strategy and research planner to do all of that. The strategy and research planner should be the person who is coordinating the research and coordinating the strategy. That person will do a lot of the work, but if there are other questions to be answered, if, if the strategy and research planner needs help, the strategy and research planner has to be able to reach out to other members of the team to get them to pitch in and help. The strategy and research planner has to work closely very closely with the campaign schedule manager because the strategy and the research and the schedule all they all fit together so there has to be a, a cooperative relationship there too the uh, media content manager that person is responsible for creating social media posts or whatever other media that you're you're working with should that person have to do it all not necessarily the, uh, the media person can ask for help from other members on the team. Hey, could you help me write some posts? Could you use Canva to help me illustrate some posts? Uh, you know, help is expected from other members of the team. The media content manager also has to work very closely with the strategy and research planner because you gotta make sure that the social media posts you're creating have a sound strategic foundation. They're, they're you know, there's a reason for doing what you're doing. The media content manager also has to work really closely with the campaign schedule manager because it seems to me, it seems to me like the social media calendar that you should be creating to document all your media posts, well, that's kind of a schedule thing too. So the media content manager and the campaign schedule manager should be working very closely together. Uh, let's see. Who am I forgetting now? So we've talked about the client services coordinator. We've talked about the research and strategic planner. We've talked about the campaign book manager. Oh, I'll come back to the campaign book manager. We've talked about the schedule manager. The schedule manager is the person who's planning this thing all out for the rest of the semester. So that person should be in close contact with everybody else. Is everything getting done on time? Um, you know, do you have things that need to happen this week? What are they and who's going to carry them out? You know, 
and, and all of these questions that I'm throwing out here, these are all questions that get answered in that weekly meeting that you're supposed to be having to keep this thing on track. Uh, the campaign book manager, that person should not have to write all of the final report, what I sometimes refer to as the final book. That person should not have to do it all. That person should coordinate the effort and seek help from other members of the team. In that sense, all five of you, or six of you on some teams, all five of you who have these roles, you are coordinating. You are ultimately responsible for this category of work, but you need to coordinate and seek help from your teammates. It's just like in the, in the workplace. When, when you're, you know, if you've got a title like PR copywriter in the workplace, well, you write copy, but you do other stuff too. It's referred to in a job description as other duties as assigned. Well, it's that way with the teams here too. I want each one of these people, each one of these roles, when you're serving in that role, you are the coordinator of that. You also produce a lot of the work, but you're not expected to produce all of the work. Heavy machinery coming up the road. <laughs> They've gotten all the snow out, so I don't know what it might be. Um, so that's what I'm getting at. You know, everybody has a job to do. Everybody has a role that they have to fill, but everybody has to coordinate with all the other people on the team to make sure that everything under the umbrella of your role gets done. So like campaign book manager, you're not expected to write the whole book. You're not expected to create the whole PowerPoint slide presentation, although I know in at least one team that did happen this last time. You're not expected to do it all. You should be asking other people for help and they should be giving you that help. Likewise, everybody else on the team, in whatever role you're in, you should be asking other people for help and they should be providing that help. Um, the five roles are really just like a focal point so we have somebody responsible because if we didn't have roles who would know what to do you know it would be easy for everybody on the team if we didn't have roles it'd be easy for everybody to say that's not my job you know and when you have five or six people saying that's not my job nothing is anybody's job so you know i said at the beginning of the course interpersonal communication is critical to your success and i was right wasn't i you know, you've got to be communicating as a team. You've got to be meeting once a week. You've got to take notes at that meeting. You've got to make commitments in that meeting. What are you going to do by the time the team meets again next week? And who are you working with to make sure that gets done? Um, and, 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 you know, just having your eyes on all the parts of the project are really important. L let me talk about social media as an example. There... If only one person creates and posts the social media posts, what is the likelihood for errors? It's really high because only one person is doing it. Nobody else is looking at the work. Nobody else is proofreading it. Nobody else is giving guidance. Nobody else is giving feedback. I've had teams in the past where only one person made the social media posts for the client and they made embarrassing errors that should never have been made um, and the client found out about it and it was not good. We have that problem in our own department, Department of Communication Social Media. Only one person makes the posts. Now, that may have changed in the past couple of months, I hope it has, because there were some embarrassing mistakes made in posts in the recent past. And I don't wanna like knock on anybody or throw shade on anybody because that's a volunteer position and I'm really happy the person is doing it. Um, and, and I don't want to throw shade on anybody here either. This is volunteer work. You're not getting paid to do this, but you are doing this to benefit the client and you are doing this to get experience as to how public relations works. This is how PR works in the workplace. If you're in a PR agency and your title is copywriter, you write copy, but you do a lot of other stuff. And if your title is graphic designer, you do graphic design, but you do a lot of other stuff. And if your title is event planner, you plan events, but you do a lot of other stuff and you have to get people to help you. And so bottom line here, and I wanna wrap this up pretty quick. Bottom line here is 
everybody on the team, regardless of their position description, has got to reach out to other people on the team and get assistance to do the job that you do, whatever that job is. And there has to be good communication. There should be a meeting every week. If you're not meeting every week, you're trying to get this bus down the road on four flat tires. And that's a new metaphor. I've not used that one before. Um, you're going to have problems. So um, let's talk about this again next week. But I, I wanted to do this little video to help clarify things and communicate that communication is your number one responsibility on this team, regardless of what your role is. And so there's got to be really strong, effective communication, which leads to collaboration, which leads to a really solid campaign because everybody has looked at it and likes it and reviews it and moves it forward. So I hope you found this helpful and I'll see you next week.